In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design an all test church flyer for prayer programs like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. So yeah, a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this particular video will be in the description in case you want to download and then it follows you. Now without any further ado, let's jump right into Photoshop. So first things first, create a new document. So you go to file and then new here. If you're using CC, you might want to take a different approach but then you're going to pick either the international paper or any size at all that you want to pick and then you're going to set the size to a3 i'm using a3 and then you go ahead and then you click ok now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the background so we are starting right from the background so we're going to fill it with a gradient so you go to the gradient or the layer adjustment and then you pick the gradient over here now i've already set a gradient that i'm going to use but i'm going to give you the coordinates so these are the colors that i prefer to use so this is the first color right over here you can just copy this one and then type it into your color picker and then it works for you and this is the second color that you're going to use once you're done with everything you just click ok from here and then you can click ok from here as well now we're going to make a little changes to this particular gradient field so you change the style to radial because we want one of the colors in the middle and then we want the rest around so what i'm going to do is i'll come to the reverse here and i'm going to reverse it i just want the dark colors around that lighted color so i'll go to the scale here and i'm going to set this to 120 that is how big you want the gradients to be like but these settings will depend on how you really want your design to come out so you're not mandated to actually follow these things so the next thing that you do is you click ok from here and we're going to start adding our background so i have this church background three here so i'm going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then i'll leave it here i'm going to push it up like that and then i can use the controls with the help of the shift and then all to open this one up like that now i'm going to double click on it right click to rasterize the layer because at the end of the day we're going to add a layer max to this so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to set this to soft light and then you see how it's beautifully blends with the background next off you're going to add a layer mask to this particular layer so you go here and then you add your layer mask and then you're going to pick your brush tool so b for brush you can actually increase the size from here by right clicking and then you make sure that you have your hardness set to zero make sure as well that the foreground color is black and then you can click ok so you increase your brush size like that and then you can start brushing off the areas that you don't really want to see it and i think this looks quite okay and you can as well decrease the opacity if this feels like it is too brightened for you something like that but then i prefer to just leave it so that there are some kind of brightness over there as well now let's add the second background so let's go to the resources i have this background here so i'm going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop as well and it's going to be on top of the first background so you can open it up this is just a symbol that it is a prayer program so you're trying to get backgrounds that represents the kind of program that you're designing so you double click over here and then you can right click on this one rasterize because we'll be adding earlier max to this as well so you change this one also to soft light and then you can decrease the opacity so that you can actually see the other backgrounds some something like that and then you can add your layer mask over here and you can brush this one off as well so something like this so that the background will be quite okay and you can even decrease the opacity some more if you so want to so you can drag this one here a little bit like that and i think the background is set for the rest of the information so just like i said in the very beginning of this video this is an all test flyer which basically means that there's not going to be any image on it except for the background so i have all the tests here that you're going to actually fill this particular flyer 
so you follow along and i tried as much as possible to use just two fonts to make this very simple so the first font that i'm going to use is called poppins and i used it the most using it in different dimensions so you're going to pick your test tool and then you're going to left click over here and we have poppins so i'm going to select the methodist church ghana and i'm going to paste it right here so i'm going to change the color from here to white like i said i used it interchangeably the size so here i'm going to use uh, the semi bold which is very bold so let's try the medium here and i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it out like that press ctrl a and make the selection and i'm going to make sure that i center it horizontally so i'll push this one up here now let me zoom in you can use the z whilst you're holding the z and then you left click to zoom in so that you can get a clearer picture and okay let me just do this one the bold ones because it is kind of the main heading right so i'm going to duplicate this test by pressing ctrl j and then I'll, i can hold shift and left click and drag it so that i can have it on the same line so you can drag it over here i'll go into my test and then i copy the next one so christ the king and then i'll pick the test tool again select it all by pressing ctrl a and then i can paste it as simple as that now i can press ctrl a again and then i'm going to change this one to medium we can then try to make this one a little bit smaller so we change the font size to about 32 or something like that that looks quite good so this is kind of different from the name or the type the test type of the church and then you can duplicate this same thing here press ctrl j and then you can drag it down a little now the next item on the list is present so you see i'm using just one font to make this one so you can actually select this and just leave it right over there so these are all centered it makes the work very centerized and then the next thing that we're going to do is we duplicate it again so ctrl j and drag it down here and we're going to actually change or select this one copy it we go on to this one and we're going to paste it so instead of the white we decide to go for a new color or a different color so yellow the method is color that is yellow right over here so you can actually pick this one or you can make it a bit brighter like that and then you click ok now this test looks quite opened up so let's quickly just select it all again and go to the toggle character here and i'm going to change this one to minus 50 i don't want it that opened and i'm going to change this one as well to 31 so that it wouldn't be that closed or perhaps you can actually open it up small a little though so let's say 33 will work out fine for me so 33 right there and then i can do the same thing for this one i don't want it that opened up so minus 50 here and then i can set this to 33 as well so when you're done you just click ok ok now here's a big blow for today i was actually supposed to do the test the main test that is the prayer power with a 3d but my machine just stopped the 3d isn't working okay but fortunately i had already saved the png that i used in the actual work that i i did so i'll leave links in the description in case you want to know how you can actually do that but i still used poppins to do this particular test and then i just applied a 3d to it added some shadows to i'll leave links in the description in case you want to learn how to make a 3d test but for now you can actually use an ordinary test like a normal test you add a couple of shadows to it and you should get something similar today so i'm just dragging and dropping it inside please please forgive me for that and i'm just going to press ctrl a and make sure that it is also centerized like that so the next thing that we want to do is underneath of this particular test if you've already set your test underneath of this one I'm going to add something so it's prayer power 2020 so i go into my costume shapes over here and i found this particular shape that we don't normally use it's somewhere here right there so i'm going to draw this very small shape like that and once i'm done i'm going to fill it with a color so let me pick the color that we chose here that's yellow or perhaps you can actually come down a little bit 
and then you click ok you press ctrl t to transform it right click and then you're going to flip this vertically so you have it over here and then on top of that we're going to type in the 2020 and then you don't write straight into a shape so just a little bit closer to it you can write 2020 and i'm going to select it all make sure that it is bold so semi bold like that and then i can change the background to somewhere dark here so you can actually see it when we drag it onto the shape like this so you can drag it here click ok and then you can actually open it up like that great so you can select the two of them and then you can drag it on top here somewhere like that so prayer power 2020 so the next thing that we want to add is a rectangle so we select the rectangle here so the rectangle tool and then you're going to draw a rectangle around here that is going to contain the name of the pastor or man of god that you'll be using so you can use or you can press ctrl t to open it up and make sure that it is on the same line so you can use the rulers here to help you out like that and then you can drag one here as well so let me zoom in so that you can actually see it so like that let me bring it here and then you can make sure that this is in alignment so something like that and then you go ahead and you change the color so we double click on the layer thumbnail here you select a color from this side and then you can click ok now the next thing that you want to do is you add your test so a test over here go to your test database and then you can select this with evangelist Ivan Sasari, paste it and then you can send it to your rectangle so what you do is you press ctrl t to transform it out and remember that as at this point i am still using just one font only that i've been actually making some of them bold medium and then you see how it is looking perfectly fine this goes on to tell you that you don't need to use all the fonts on your computer to make your design look great that was just a piece of advice so let's move on the next thing that we want to do is so we can group all of these starting from the width to a five day we select it all by holding shift and then you can press ctrl g to group this one to something like main so you realize that the whole of the middle is going to be the main and right there i realized that i just messed this one up so i'm going to select that and push it up here like that back to default so the next thing that we want to do is we want on top of the main we are going to create a new set of group so on top of the main we're going to create a new test over there so i'll select my test tool and i'm going to my test database it is team so i'm going to copy the theme over there and then i'm going to paste it right over here now this is the color that i'm going to use for this particular one you can actually use this one so you go ahead and then you click ok let me just bring this one over here and then i'm going to select it all go to the toggle character here and i'm going to open this one up so instead of closing it i just open it up so that it can be big enough and then i'll press ctrl a to center it horizontally next off i'm going to copy it by pressing ctrl j drag it down a little bit go into my resources and then i have men ought to pray always so that is going to be the theme and then i'm going to select all of these paste it right over there select it all again and this time i'm going to change the tracking to minus 50 so it is closed a bit and we can even try something like 60 right over here so minus 60 and that is it so this one is actually going to be bigger than the actual team and this looks way bigger so let me just try and close it up a little bit like that i think we've got a little bit of space over here so let me just close this one ctrl t to transform it out and we can even still try to make it a little bit smaller so something like that looks quite good over there let me just get rid of this one and then i'm going to select the men or to pray always so duplicate it ctrl g and then i'll drag it down now i'll go to my test database and this is the next thing that i have on the list so i'm going to select it all so this one has to stand out that is the actual concept here so i can make this one a little bit more smaller like that and press ctrl to make sure that it is centerized 
now once you have this like that you can just select all of this one group it and you call it the theme next off i'm going to select my rectangle tool again and i'm going to draw a rectangle that is going to cut across the theme and the next set of things that we're going to do so i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered and i can double click on the layer thumbnail to change the color to white so from the look of things i would have to create sort of like space for the underneath here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the theme and then the rectangle that i just created and i'm going to push it up a little bit so hold shift and you can easily drag it like that so that i create a kind of space for the rest of the things because we have about three more things to add so let's quickly add them so i'm going to select my test tool again we are doing an all test flyer please <laughs> so select your test and then we go here and we're going to copy and paste this one so by copy it and i'm going to paste it right over there now i'm going to change all of these ones to white so change the color to white and i'll go to the toggle character first off let me decrease the size like that okay and i'll go to the toggle character here and i'm going to close the leading so like that and then i'm going to press ctrl a to make sure that it is centerized like this press ctrl t again to transform it to make it a little bit smaller and i can push it up here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select them individually so i'll select my date and i'm going to change this one to semi bold so that it can be very bold and then i can try to open this one up the size a little bit so that it can be bigger and i'm going to select all of this one so it is the same test but then i'm selecting it differently so i'm going to change the color to yellow right there and then i'll click ok the last thing that we want to do is we're going to add a rounded rectangle at the very bottom so that effect at the bottom so a rounded rectangle and i'm going to draw my rounded rectangle over here like that I'm going to change my color to white okay and then i'll press ctrl a and then i'm going to make sure that this is centered as well so you can actually bring it down or you can leave it like this and on top of that that will be the last thing that we're going to add so i can duplicate this one drag it on top here let me just drag it on top there so with the help of the move tool we're just going to drag and drop it on top of our document that we're working on and let's zoom in you can use the z and then you left click to zoom in so right over there i think it looks good over there so let me just use the rulers here drag and set it so that we can bring the next one in at the same exact places right so go back to your resources and you have the myf logo drag it into photoshop and then you repeat the same process so you unlock it use the magic one to this time around you can hold shift to make multiple selections like that and then you can go ahead and then delete this right click convert to smart objects and then you can send it to the main document that you're working on so this one is a bit smaller press ctrl t to transform it and then you make sure that it fits into the rulers that you've set so something like that and then you take your time to position it when you have free time you can make sure that this looks perfect so the last effect that we're going to add to this is the lens flare so i've got just one for you in the description but you can download many of them on google by searching for lens flare so we want to place it right on top of the test that is the main prayer test so you can open it up that is the main group and then you select your test and on top of that you're going to drag and drop your lens flare onto it so you position it at where you want it and then you can actually open it up to be brighter the more you open it up the brighter it becomes so you double click on this one you can right click and rasterize because you're going to apply some filter to it and then you're going to change the blending mode to screen so that is going to bring about the brightness so like i said the more you open it up the brighter it becomes so you brighten it up like this and you can go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then you're going to add a couple of blur to it so something like that and then you can click ok 
so you can see that the effect is not really happening so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl t and i'm going to open it up some more like that so something like this and then you can actually add a layer max or whatever you want to it to get rid of the parts that you don't really need example these places we don't really want it here and these places we just want the light on top of the power that is the prayer power like that so you can use the layer mask to actually get rid of all these places that you don't want to see it and then you can push this one here a little bit so something like that and you press ctrl j to make a duplicate it is going to be very deeper and then you can bring that one as well here so that it can reflect to that part so the last thing that you're going to do this place looks way very very brighter so i'm going back to my background over here and on top of the background i'm going to add a curve layer adjustment so i select my curves here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this one down a little bit so that you're going to actually see the effect and the lights can actually pop as well so this is without the curves and this is with the curves which one is your pick so basically that's it you can take your time to work around with the lens flare here so you make sure that it does not cover the main topic for discussion so yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video let me know in the comment section if this was in any way helpful and let me know in the comment section if you want to see a video on a particular topic that i can actually cover thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye